Last time, we introduced stoichiometry, the math behind chemical reactions and how it tells us exactly how much fuel and oxidizer rockets need for safe, powerful thrust. Today, let's put that into action. Pause the video and see if you can solve this one yourself. We're burning methane in pure oxygen at one atmosphere, five parts. Balance the reaction, mole fraction of oxygen, partial pressure of methane, fuel oxidizer ratio, and is the mix rich or lean? Start with CH4 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Count atoms and balance one carbon on each side. Four hydrogens on the left, so we need two water molecules on the right. That makes four hydrogens. Now oxygen. We have two in CO2 and two in the two water molecules for a total of four oxygens on the products. So we need two O2 on the reactants. Final balanced reaction, CH4 plus two O2, CO2 plus two H2O. Reactant moles, one mole of methane and two moles of oxygen. Total is three moles. Mole fraction of oxygen equals two over three. Partial pressure, which is Dalton's law, equals mole fraction times total pressure. Mole fraction of methane is one over three. Total pressure is one atmosphere. So CH4 equals one over three atmospheres, about 0.33 atmospheres. Fuel mass equals moles of fuel times molar mass. One mole of methane times 16 grams per mole equals 16 grams. Oxidizer mass equals two moles of oxygen times 32 grams per mole equals 64 grams. Fuel oxidizer mass ratio equals 16 over 64 equals one over four equals 0 0.25. At the balanced or stoichiometric point, there's no leftover fuel and no leftover oxygen. That's what we have here. So this mix is neither rich nor lean. Quick note. Rich means more fuel than stoichiometric. Lean means more oxygen. In real engines, you often run slightly fuel rich to control temperature. And that's the solution. Subscribe and follow because next time we'll connect this to real world combustion examples and quick practice problems.